hey guys welcome back to my channel so mm, your girl gracious is here so today we are talking about the types of guys or men that you should avoid as a high value woman you're a high value woman a classy woman an elegant lady there are some men that there are some types of men that shouldn't be wasting your time because as a high value woman you're working on yourself to getting better to improving each day that passes by you want to get better you want to achieve more things and then you have this particular type of guy that is just there killing your dream or wasting your time and all that you're not supposed to be associating with some uh, certain types of guys so i'm we're going to be discussing the types of men that you're not supposed to be associating with as a high value woman the number one type of guy that you shouldn't be associating yourself with is the selfish guy yes i know that maybe when you met this person newly you don't know if they are selfish or not but as time goes on you get to learn them you'll find out that they're selfish and knowing that they're selfish you're not supposed to be wasting your time because you're wasting your time with such a person as a high value woman you're not supposed to be wasting your time with such a guy because the person doesn't think about your dream your happiness he obviously just thinks about himself alone he just wants to do things that makes him happy he doesn't care about your happiness as a high value woman your happiness matters as well in fact as a woman your happiness matters so much so if you have a partner that doesn't care about your happiness he doesn't care about hurting you all he cares about is what makes him happy just himself when you bring up um, an idea you want to hear from his own side you want to get his opinion he doesn't even care he'll be like just do what you want just do what you want like in um um he doesn't even support what you do and all that in everything just a selfish one I'm not supposed to be deliberating so much on any point that I mentioned because I know that once I mention a point, you should understand me. So, if you happen to come across a selfish guy, you don't need to waste your time on that person because the person will be wasting your time. You're supposed to get someone that will add more value to you because you're working on yourself to get better. Now, a selfish guy doesn't care about your growth. So, he's not going, he's not going to add any meaning to your life. The second person is the liar. You're not supposed to be wasting your time with a liar, seriously. As a classy woman, lying is not your thing. You always want straight up thing, something that is um, truthful, something that is uh, genuine. That is what you're supposed to be associating yourself with. So when you come across a liar, the person will always have to lie his way out of situations when they are at fault and they keep lying to cover up the thing to even make you feel guilty so you are not supposed to be wasting your time with a liar if the person is not working on himself to improve then you should move on and leave him there number three is the player <laughs> no matter whether you're a high value or you're not a high value person you're not supposed to be wasting time with a player the player doesn't have the intention of making you get better the player is just there to make himself happy, play the game, and move on to the next person when he's done playing games with you. So no one deserves a player. Everyone wants a friendship, a relationship that would amount to something beautiful, meaningful. Not necessarily that you're expecting marriage to come out of it, but something that makes you happy, something that makes you to learn how to get better, something that improves you should in case you get into marriage you know that oh i've experienced something like this you know how to manage situations so a player is not ready to teach you to get better a player is just there playing with your head doing mind games with you and once he's tired he's going to even move on before you know it and move on to the next person to play that person so if you happen to meet a, a player and you find out that that person is a, is an actual player you should just not associate yourself with him the guy who strings you along now i'm going to explain this one because you might not really understand what i'm saying the guy who strings you along is someone that always wants your attention when he needs it he calls upon you he's traveled and he doesn't remember that you exist he doesn't call to check up on you he doesn't care about your daily affairs what you're up to what is going on in your life and when he comes back to your city he starts communicating you he wants to hang out with you he wants to meet you he wants to really 
um you're not supposed to be in a relationship with this kind of person because obviously it's not relationship that you guys are doing like let it just be oh someone i know this one is a bad one oh. someone that doesn't care about you um out of mind out of sight you leave and then sometimes they're even around they don't even care about you they don't call upon you like they are m well much around but they don't even care how you're doing maybe one day he's bored or he remembers oh i have this girl let me call her and after having fun with you the next morning he's throwing you out already he just wants you to leave the house asap oh i'm traveling i'm going somewhere please come and be going like no please we don't need time wasters we are growing to get better i am on this journey of getting better being a classy woman being a polished woman being a high value woman and there are some things that I'm, I'm not supposed to be wasting my time on so if i meet someone that just want to have fun when he feels like having fun and after you have fun with me you move and the next thing is oh the other, um after one month you're back in my city and you're calling me no i don't have time to waste with such a person so you should not associate yourself with such a guy because that person doesn't see you as a priority that person doesn't really care about you the person may might probably have someone else elsewhere that he's serious with and he's just toiling and playing with you and funny enough they might not want you to know that they will not tell you oh you're my girlfriend oh or we are in this relationship he will just want to like keep it clean like just keep deceiving you for the time being until you get yourself once this happens the next the thing is just to maybe put a complaint across and if the person is not changing man you're not supposed to be an option to someone the next one is the guy who puts in no effort they are just there they don't add any value to your life they don't make any effort in making you to get better in fact when they are wrong they don't make efforts to change you complain and they are like oh i'm sorry then the next day they are repeating the same mistake the same thing that gets you angry they don't want to improve and they don't want you to improve please don't associate yourself with such a person and the next one is the emotionally unavailable guy why you should not associate yourself with emotionally unavailable person is that maybe they just came out of a relationship that was bad and they are not emotionally available to attach feelings to any person the only thing is oh i'm feeling bored i'm feeling lonely they will call you or um they want you to keep them company and no strings attached and um they keep moving once they get what they want from you um when you ask them they might be like i'm not really ready to be in a relationship right now i just came out from a bad one please you don't, you're not supposed to be wasting my time except i i don't really care i just want us to just be um you're not wasting my time oh we are in an open relationship and me as a woman i get i understand that but me as a woman maybe i'm expecting something more than an open relationship from you and you don't want that you're telling me that you're not ready for romance you're not ready for love you're not ready to take me uh, as a, a serious relationship man you're not supposed to waste your time with such a person the person is emotionally unavailable so no strings should be attached to this kind of person you should probably move on to the next one the person who will appreciate and cherish you for whom you are number seven the last one is the controlling guy this type of guy is a guy that wants to be in charge of your life of your activities you want to go out he's asking you where exactly are you going you go out you come back where did you go who did you go with what time did you go um how long did you stay there what is happening there give me the number of the person you said with you go out they are feeling so will i say insecure they feel like you're cheating on them they feel like um you, you you're probably going out to meet the next person and maybe you give other people chance and once you have the opportunity of meeting a better person you will replace them with that person hey this one is bad though they uh, they can be abusive if you allow this to happen it will get to an extent that they will be abusing you maybe physically beating you so you don't allow a guy to control you this way the thing is you give your man respect that he deserves but when a guys now start being so controlling they want to be the one marking where you go they want you to always tell them where you have your life 
yes we are partners but i have my life i have things to do i have things to attend to before i go and attend to things i'll have to tell you oh i'm going to this place i'll stay this long yes it's good to tell your partner oh i'm going to so place so that in case anything happened for security reasons they will know where you went to but not when i'll come back you're asking me why did you stay so long so i'm um, going to school takes 10 hours um who did you go with is it a man or a woman ah the person is so controlling do this do that for me and all that please as a high value woman that is working on herself to get better you're not supposed to associate yourself with such a person and i hope you get my points um this will help you to get a partner that will support your dreams that is ready to build you is ready to make you become the better version of yourself yes this is the type of man you should associate yourself with. Someone that appreciates you for whom you are. Someone that cares about your happiness and your growth. I'm going to see you in my next video. But before seeing you in my next video, if you've not yet subscribed, please do me a favor. Clicking on By clicking on that red subscribe button, turn on notification bell. Leave a comment down there below in the comment section. If you have anything to say to me at all, like this video, share this video. Mwah.